Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to another Lego set review. Today we're taking a look at set 75109 Obi-Wan Kenobi. This set is recommended for ages 7 to 12, and he has around 83 pieces. So, I unfortunately don't have the box for this set, uh, since BZ Power sent it to me in a, uh, bag, probably to save money, that's totally okay, uh, but it's fine, so let's just go ahead and take a look at the figure here. So, Obi-Wan Kenobi is probably the best-looking human figure from, uh, the Star Wars construction figures, uh, in my opinion. I'm sure that a lot of people do have that opinion as well. Um, he's based off his, uh, Clone Wars TV show look, uh, I believe from the, oh, the latest Clone Wars TV show, I think, and I think, uh, it, that's probably also a reason, because it's based off of a cartoon and not the ac actual, I guess, at not the actual movie, so I think that's one of the reasons it looks, uh, accurate and good. Um, so, some of my favorite things about this guy, about Obi-Wan here, so... He's, uh, very poseable. You can get him in some really cool poses, uh, like I did just then. Uh, he doesn't have any actual, I guess, play features other than posability and displayability, but, uh, he's still pretty cool, I guess. So, some things that you can do, uh, you can have him hold his lightsaber with two hands, or you could have him hold it with just one hand by simply doing that. However, when you do have him hold it with one hand, you're left with the spare one of these uh, Technic axles, and you could just find a place to put that uh, or just keep it off to the side. Uh, so I really do like his lightsaber. I've never gotten one of these lightsaber pieces before, so this is a first-time experience for me, I guess, so very neat. Um, one thing I don't like is that they have him holding his lightsaber, and then they also have his lightsaber right here. It doesn't make too much sense. That's probably just so they, uh, did that, but, uh, yeah, I, I think it's okay, but just more pieces to add to the set, I guess, so that's pretty neat. Um, he's got these white, uh, uh, pieces from Hero Factory. I forgot what they're called, but, uh, I don't think I've, I've gotten these, I've never gotten these in white before, so I don't know if this is the first time they've appeared in white, uh, with this set. Uh, probably not, uh, but probably. I don't exactly know. Uh, but that's really cool to see those in white. Um, he's got this cape also here, too, which is pretty nice, and I'm sure it'll be useful for a lot of mockists. Um, so yeah, really cool. Um, Underneath, uh, they did try to cover up his back, uh, but, uh, I still think it doesn't, doesn't exactly look all too great, uh, however, I understand why they didn't really spend a whole lot, uh, covering up his back, because he was gonna have the cape on anyway, so it doesn't exactly matter. Uh, if you want the cape off, you can take it off just by removing a couple of Technic pieces, then removing the cape, oh, also have to take off the head, then just take off the cape, and then just put everything back how it was without the cape. And you have him with his cape off. Now, honestly, I think he looks better with his cape on, because he looks just a little bit more robotic uh, without it, so I'd recommend leaving it on. So, there honestly isn't a whole lot else to Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, I guess, here. Uh, some pieces that I do find interesting and that I do like that they included are the shin pieces. Those are still pretty new to me. I haven't gotten many of the Star Wars sets at all, um, or Star Wars construction sets. Uh, these uh, armor shells, uh, I've never seen those in tan before in this uh, length. Um, also these, uh, shoulder pad type of pieces, those round ones, those are very useful for mocking. Um, you get two of those in the set, uh, so that's really cool. Uh, the actual lightsaber, the lightsaber, uh, actual blade part, and the actual hilt pieces, so those are really cool to get. Also those, uh, Hero Factory Beast Claw, f or Claws or whatever, those are nice to get in white. Um, and of course the cape. The cape is also a really cool piece to get, but, uh... I think that's pretty much it for Obi-Wan Kenobi here, so let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. So here's the instruction manual for this set. So this is what you would have saw on the front of the box with some other stuff. Uh, here it shows if you are confused, you should organize your pieces. Then instructions, instructions, uh, final product, our good old list of pieces, advertisement for the first wave of Star Wars construction sets. I kind of wish I got Grievous. He was a really cool looking one, but he was, I think like he was like $30 or something. I think the new Darth Vader is $40, so I don't know. That's sort of, yeah. The pricing on these sets is a bit weird. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of cool figures here. I kind of wish I got, like, Commander Cody, maybe Jango Fett. I, I plan on maybe getting the Boba Fett figure, so hopefully that'll make up for not getting Jango Fett. Uh, then advertisements for some of the other just regular system Star Wars sets. A uh, little poster here of Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting General Grievous. And that's pretty much it. So, let's move on to the end of the video. So, overall, Obi-Wan Kenobi here is an okay figure, I guess, compared to a lot of the other Star Wars figures. Uh, one thing I just don't really, that I don't like about him is just the fact that he's sort of, I guess, boring. There's not really anything interesting or... I guess, unique about him that uh, you can and I feel like you would enjoy getting uh, a lot of the other or any other Star Wars construction figure, although this is probably the best looking human uh, uh, Star Wars construction figure, so if you want at least maybe like one of the human figures, then this is probably the one to get, I guess. Uh, another thing I don't exactly like is uh, the shoulder uh, armor add-ons right there. They uh, sometimes fall off because there's uh, actual some armor under here underneath the cape and they'll collide with the shoulders will collide with that armor piece and the shoulder uh, add-ons will fall off. So that does get a bit annoying uh, sometimes if you're playing with it. But uh, other than that, I don't really have any other... Uh, dislikes about it. Uh, I also do like just a lot of the pieces that you get, but uh, other than that, it's just an okay figure. I don't, it's not, it's not as interesting as some of the other ones like the Praetorian Guard or uh, even K2SO, but uh, still a pretty neat figure for what it is. But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!